damn. What's going on guys, Ronnie here, back again with another video for you. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a trick called the buddy flip. This is a fun and easy trick, all you need is your board and a buddy. And luckily I'm here with... That's right, I don't have a buddy. I'll be here buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like a drone flying up there. Please disregard any noise. Anyway, so for this trick, all you really need to know how to do is you need to know how to ride and jump. You need to know how to kick and flip. It's really that easy. The hardest part of this trick is probably just finding the buddy. So You're not a buddy. Get out of here. So if you're the person riding, you want to ride at a moderate speed. You want to get pretty close to the person who's going to be flipping the board. You're going to want to be at least... You're going to want to be somewhere between six inches to a foot away from the person who's flipping the board. And then just stick your foot under there and then kick it straight up. Yeah, and you don't want to kick it too hard because you don't want to over flip it. But you also want to kick it hard enough so that you can do a full flip. Some of the common problems we had were probably getting the timing down right. <laughs> the flipper really has to read the body language of the, the rider slash jumper. You got to know when they're going to jump. That way you can flip the board you know, after they jumped and they're in the air because you can't really flip the board if, they're, if all their weight's still on there. When you're the flipper, you got to make sure that you stick your foot under and then don't kick it too hard and also make sure that you actually hit the board <laughs> or else you're just going to completely miss and possibly nut the jumper. And also, if you're the jumper, you want to make sure you jump high enough to give the board enough room to do a full flip. If you don't jump high enough, the board might hit you and you're obviously not going to land that trick. When you're reading the body language of the jumper, make sure that you flick it um, north so towards the edge of the board because that's the way you get the fastest flip. Also, make sure that you do it at the right time so you really do have to read that body language. Right, and the person flipping the board, make sure you don't use your whole foot. You really kind of just want to use... As a flipper, you want to use just the tip of your foot, just the front of your foot, just the front toes. And the reason for this is because it flips faster. And if you use your whole foot, you might not get the flip right. So at the end of the day, it's really just all about timing. The rider and the flipper just have to be completely in sync with jumping and flipping the board. It's really that easy. You don't even have to know any tricks before learning this trick. You really just have to be comfortable riding, jumping, and then riding away. Yeah, it's all about timing. Sometimes you meet the right people at the wrong time. Sometimes you flip the board and... <laughs> Alright guys, go out there, get yourself a buddy, go learn this trick. Post it on Instagram, post it on Twitter, hashtag buddyflip, or uh, tweet at me, send it to me. Also, be sure to check out Scott's channel, his channel, uh, Scootworth. Let's go. Instagram, at Scootworth. It'll all be linked down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't for more videos every week. If you want to see more trick tips, comment down below, let me know. And until next time, we're out. Peace.